Hi, I'm Salt Lake City Mayor Erin Mendenhall, and I've been grappling lately with what my family is going to do during this holiday season, given that Salt Lake City, the state of Utah, like states across the nation, is deep into the third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. For us, I know that Christmas and Thanksgiving probably aren't going to look anything like what they traditionally do, where we cram 15 of us around our dining room table. And so I've been going out to community members and community leaders to ask what they and their families are going to do differently over these holiday season. And thank you, Angela Dunn. I'm so grateful to have Dr. Dunn here speaking with me today. Yeah, happy to be here. Will you tell us a little bit about how the holidays might look different for you and your family this year? Yeah, so, you know, my family might have a little bit of an easier time than most of the Utah families out there because we actually have no family around or in the state. Um, so we won't be grappling with that, um, you know, inner family conflict when you're telling people they can't come over for dinner. We are really excited actually to order Thanksgiving from a local restaurant. There are tons of caterers and restaurants out there um, having Thanksgiving menus that you can order and I'm not gonna cook anything. We're gonna have someone else do it, pick it up during the day and spend the day outside. Um, I've got a couple little kids that are learning to ski. So we're gonna find a small mountain hill for them to go down and do some sledding and use the time just with the four of us. Um, and, and that's about it. Well, that's a bunch of wins. I mean, our local restaurants and small businesses have been the hardest hit, as you know, um, over the course of the pandemic, economically speaking. And so you get to have delicious takeout from a local business that you're supporting, probably have fewer dishes to do and eat some good stuff that maybe you normally wouldn't on Thanksgiving. Are your kids helping to plan in uh, what your plans are going to be in your activities? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so actually this year, both of my kids decided they want salmon for the main course. And so we're going a little not traditional there. Um, so we're going to get a delicious salmon. And then, um, of course, depending on, on what our great weather does, um, they will definitely be leading the charge. I think we're also going to start um, our tradition of watching some good Christmas and holiday films probably starting out with something like Home Alone or National Lampoon, um, and then go from there. Oh, Chevy Chase <laughs> on uh, Lampoon's Christmas. Yep. Just can't get through a holiday season without that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I wish you and your family a really fantastic and safe and hopefully surprisingly fun holiday season. And I want to thank you. Um, for being amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew if I put it on, it wouldn't, I'd have to jump and you wouldn't be able to see it. I, love I am it. That's so fantastic. grateful for you. You're, Thank you. you're an incredible asset to not only Salt Lake City, but our whole state. And I, I look up to you and I admire you and I'm grateful for you. So in this season of gratitude, thank you, Angela. And thanks for taking time to talk with us. Anybody yeah, out there? Holidays. Thank you. And for anybody out there who isn't sure how to do your holiday plans this season, I encourage you to stay home and stay at home with the people in your household only. While we celebrate this holiday season in a whole new way, um, if you have questions about how to do that safely or whatever your plans might be, please go to cdc.gov and they've got a great holiday guide on there so that no matter what you end up orienting, there's a way to do it safely. We hope be well, take care and stay safe.